on here in Gansu. Together in Gansu. Ichi Xiang Gansu. Together in Gansu. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have Miss Suri, the Council General of Thailand. Please welcome Miss Suri. So, um, is this your first time here in Gansu province? No, actually it's my fourth time in Gansu, but uh, the, my third time in Lanzhou. Uh, I visited uh, Tan, uh, Tun Huang in September last year to attend the Zero uh, Cultural Expo in Tun Huang. And I'm really impressed with Gansu. So, uh, what kind of uh, impressions do you have on the province? Okay, you know, I, I impressed Gansu actually to, in two aspects. The first one is the economic drop. Meant. You, you know, know better than me that uh, Gansu just officially announced that the, the, the lies of, out of the uh, poverty uh, in November 2020. And another aspect is the historical, uh, fantastic historical and, and, and beautiful scenery of the Tun Huang, of, no, of Gansu. Tun Huang has a Mokau, Mokau Grotto. It's really, really is a very beautiful historical site. Thank you, thank you. And uh, it, obviously you probably know more than I do. <laughs> really? <laughs> right, right. Maybe because I, I, I love I love Gansu. Particularly Lanzhou, you know. Every time when I arrive in Lanzhou, I feel like then I, I, I back to my, my hometown. So Bangkok is my hometown. Bangkok, there is a, we call it Chao Phraya River, lying in the middle of, of the city. In, in Lanzhou, you also have the Yangtze River in the middle of, of the city. It's the same. So every time when I come here, I feel like I'm coming home. Yeah. Right. I love Lanzhou. I'm, I'm glad you feel that way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. Talk about the fair. Uh, yeah. So uh, what kind of expectations do you have? Actually, I, be, I expect that we would like to, to showcase our Thai products, our Thai fruit, and that you, you may see on behind us a lot of Thai products. I would like to introduce Thai products to not only for the Kansu people and also the, the foreign people who participate in this fair. Are there any other words you want to share with Gansu province? Any wishes? Of course, actually there are so many aspects that Gansu and Thailand can cooperate because right now Gansu is a rising star in the western, non, uh, western province. So there's many aspects that we can cooperate like uh, the, the uh, railway logistics because Gansu in the middle of the western, they, they can be the connect can be the hub for the westward to the to the Central Asia and to Europe. If we can um, can connect the railroad, we can connect the world. Right, that's exactly right. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yes. So, except for the business collaborations, uh -huh. are there any other aspects you think we can have a deeper conversation? Of course, of course. Like um, as I just mentioned, cultural and tourism. One more thing is the cooperation in the traditional medicine. Because Gansu really, really strong, have a really strong potential in, 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 this, in this industry. Thailand, we also have the Thai herbs. And we also, uh, the, the Thai herbs, we can, can be the, like a healthy, healthy food. We can learn from Gansu. And Gansu also may, maybe can learn, can learn from, from Thailand. And this will, will be a really good, good cooperation for the mutual benefit of our people. So, at the end of our interview, are there any other thing you want to mention? I just want to mention. I just uh, want to thank my my heartful thank thankfulness to the organizer and to the FAO of of Council who invite me to participate this this event. And I I, I receive I receive a really warm welcome uh, hospitality rendered by not only from the government side and also from the Council people. Okay. 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 Thank you and thank you. welcome to Gansu again and uh, yeah. thanks for you thank to you. join in the fair. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you a lot. Uh, thank you.